What is up, my beautiful Mama Marcel? Welcome back to my kitchen. Today, we're making black handmade cotton candy. Ah. We're gonna add our sugar right here. Dragon's Beard consists mainly of sugar, lots and lots of sugar. Then you're gonna add your corn syrup. Okay, lots of corn syrup. You wanna get some vinegar, put the vinegar in there. That's what's gonna help break down the sugar so you can pull it apart later. You wanna add water. You wanna mix this concoction all around. And then you're gonna go ahead and grab your black dye. Squirt that in there. Oh my gosh, doesn't that look cool? Like it's something out of like Harry Potter or something. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Then you wanna mix it all around. This is the last time you can mix anything. And you're gonna heat it up to a nice boil and wait for it to get to the right temperature. All right, we have our black sugar now and we're ready to pour it in. Gently pour the sugar into these donut molds. It's gonna make it easier later to pull open these dragon beards, but pour the sugar in like that and voila, we're gonna let them cool. All right, so we put it in the donut things. It is now cooled to make our hand pulled black cotton candy. So I don't know if this is gonna work. I, I hope it really looks like hair. We're gonna take our cornstarch right here and we're just gonna lay it out all on my baking sheet like this. This cornstarch is gonna help the sugar to not stick to everything and stick together. So you wanna just get this cornstarch all over, your, oh, all over the baking sheet. You want your candy not to be too hot, but not too cold because if it's too cold, it's gonna seize up on you and then you can't play with it anymore and make it the beautiful dragon's beard hand pulled cotton candy you want. But you wanna start off as these and you wanna Pull out all of them and get them into nice, perfect, even amounts before you start pulling and you wanna just keep coating it. Yeah, so I'm gonna flip it and give it its first flip. Now I'm gonna switch to a different view and just speed this up for you guys. Yeah, and keep dusting it and making it a black dragon's beard. All right, so we are done making these now. Oh my gosh, but they actually came out a lot more purple than black. The thing about making cotton candy is the more you stretch it out, the more the color starts to fade. So this was black, but it turned purple. Kind of looks like Frost Gatorade, right? <laughs> Let's see how many different hairstyles I can do with this. The unibrow. The Fu Manchu. The goatee. The Bushman. Hi. The caveman. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope that I've gotten better at making these now. Look at this hair, though. It amazes me every time. That's why I keep making these, because I just love the way it looks. Okay, let's try this black one. Let's see if the black dye made it taste any different. Oh! Oh. Oh, ew. Black. I'm just kidding. It's delicious. It's so good. <laughs> I don't know why I love hand-pulled cotton candy way more than normal cotton candy. You guys should send me pictures to my Twitter of you guys making hand-pulled cotton candy. I really want to see it. Make sure you have a parent supervision because hot sugar is very, very dangerous. So do not do it alone if you are under like 13 or 18. Don't do it. Oh, my cavities. Ah, <laughs> I just felt so many cavities. Ah, I'm sorry, dentist. Ouch. Okay, well, I'm gonna get my teeth checked out. Donate to me below to help me get my, <laughs> my teeth fixed. I'll see you guys tomorrow, 12 p.m. for another new video. Thank you guys so much for watching me today make my sexy DIY hand-pulled cotton candy looks. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another <laughs> new video. Peace!